My name's Danny and <clears throat> I've been involved in the Balanced View training for now more than 10 years. And you know, this for me already just says it all really, that I found something that <clears throat> I would voluntarily choose to participate in ongoingly for now what is almost 11 years. And <clears throat> you know, from a very early age I was very different to the majority of the people in my school in terms of like my interests, how I wanted to interact with other people, my desire to find something more than what was available in this very small town in the middle of England. And, <clears throat> you know, that led me to participate in many, many things over a 10 or 15 year period. Most of those were just things that stuck around for a little while really because I knew deep within myself that there was a potential for something. At that point it had not been described to me or introduced to me but I knew there was a potential for something and the things that I was participating in before meeting Balanced View were not delivering that thing which as I said at that point it was something unknown to me what it was exactly. Um, and then, you know, it came to a point when I'd kind of just reached the end of that search using the things that had been presented to me. And with a great fortune, met somebody here in Arambol that was participating in the training. Already just meeting this person was a great inspiration, enough for me to change my plans, travel to the north of India to participate in the 12 empowerments. And, you know, it's something at that point which, you know, there was no balance view website, so it was, none of us really knew what was being offered, but yet this calling was enough that I would make this journey to Rishikesh and from the first time I sat down in the open meeting and saw the video of Candice speaking and seeing the community of people that were there it was so clear to me that what was being spoken was the thing that I personally had been looking for and I from the very beginning had no doubt whatsoever that what was being spoken was the truth, not in a philosophical way, but in the direct experience of the people that were speaking about it. Um, so then participated in the 12 empowerments, and it was so funny to reflect on it because at that point I had an idea of like enlightenment, this, this enlightenment, and I thought, okay, I'll do this 12 days of the 12 empowerments, and at the end comes enlightenment. So it's like day one, day two, day three, I was like, no enlightenment, day four, day five, day six, it's got to come soon. No seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, like, mm, okay, no enlightenment. But, <laughs> but what I did see so amazingly in that process is the entirely limiting operating system that I had been installed with in my life until that point, which was one of avoiding my experience, replacing my experience, indulging my experience, blame of others, criticism of others, feeling a victim to my experience. All of these things became so clear how that had come about and very specifically how those points had impacted on my life and how that had impacted on my relationship with basically everybody, every place and everything. Um, so then from there, for me, I was just like hooked. I was hooked on it. I took away like a, three or four DVDs of Candice. I had the audio talks and I just listened for like at least the first year, just like continuously just listening to the talks. And you know, I, I remembered that Candice had said three years, just stick around for three years. Can you give it three years, stick around and see what happens? So then I had this, like, okay, this enlightenment, that's coming after three years. So <laughs> now I stick around for three years. Why not, you know, anyway, and I always participated in a very light-hearted way. I showed up to the trainings, I showed up to the open meetings, 
I continued to do things that were sometimes maybe not suggested to me to do. And I just showed up in a way that was like suitable for me. Like I didn't, some things I changed very dr drastically immediately. Some things just continued to like flower and flourish. So I participated always in a very light-hearted manner that was like suitable for me. Um, so then, you know, this three years came and went and then it was like, by that point, I was just so assured in the process, as Candice said in the video, of this inexhaustible opening, that each year of participating, I would feel more assured, more confident, more stable, more open-hearted, more open mind. And you know, that assurance in my own direct experience was and continues to be the thing that outshines all ideas that I might have about the training about what other people think about me and it's just my own experience and assurance of this process that continues is just like it's the most magnificent thing and you know this year I will be 40 years old and you know it starts to come all the data like oh old na 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 and then <laughs> and then just the other day I just thought wow if I look back to how I was so I was thinking oh, in 10 years I'm going to be 50 Oh, and then I just thought, I looked, I looked back and saw how I was when I was 30 and to just see this monumental shift that has occurred in my life from the age of 30 to the age of 40. And I just thought, well, if that continues from the age of 40 to the age of 50, then there's like, I have like nothing to worry about, <laughs> like body falling apart, money coming, going, all of these things. It's like, this is just, it's like irrelevant compared to the possibility of a life of inexhaustible opening into open intelligence. So in that, I am uh, greatly relaxed and greatly assured and uh, continue to show up. So. <laughs>